Hey guys, this is Chris, and today I wanted to show you how to hook up your Zoom R24 to your computer and use it as an audio interface. But you do not need a computer in order to use the R24. It's an amazing multi-track recorder on its own. But a couple weeks ago, I bought a MacBook Pro, and I wanted to see how well it works with it. And I can tell you firsthand, the Zoom R24 is an awesome audio interface. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to hook it up into your computer. And then we're going to jump into the computer and actually show you what you need to do in order to get it ready to record. So sit back and hopefully this helps and thanks for watching. Alright so please excuse the bad audio quality. I usually use the Zoom R24 for my recordings. But we need to look inside of it in order to figure out how to hook it up. So basically what you want to do is you want to hook the other side of the USB cord into your computer and then this one into the R24. Now this is the thick end USB. Basically plug it right in to your Zoom R24 and it's going to light up. Now the computer powers the Zoom R24 so as you can see you don't even need a power supply in there. So it's going to ask you this. It's going to ask you if you want to use it as an audio interface. It says audio IF. You basically just click uh, enter on uh, this button here and that brings up same thing here audio interface and you go to, down to execute hit enter again and now you're ready to record alright now that the Zoom R24 is ready to record we have to get the computer ready to record in order to do this we need to open up a digital audio workstation this is basically just a computer program that we need in order to record music the R24 comes with an introductory version of Cubase, but I prefer Personas' Studio One 2, so let's open that up right now. Now this is the startup screen, and basically what you're going to do is jump down to this section right here for setup. Now by default it says built-in output. Now what that means is that it's using the computer's audio card to record anything or to play back. So what you're going to do is you want to make sure that you've downloaded Zoom's latest drivers for the R24 off their website. Then you're going to go to Configure Audio Device. Now you're going to come up to here to Audio Device and click on Built-in Output. It's going to do this drop box. Come down to the Zoom R16 R24 driver and click there. Now the sample section is basically what, what gets into latency. The higher the samples, um, the more latency you're going to get. I have it as the lowest samples that you can make it because this is a brand new MacBook and I, I'm pretty sure it can handle it. So we go to OK and we create a new song. Let's just title it Zoom R24 Demo. OK, so we click on OK. Now this is our empty recording here. In order to add a track, we go here, click Add Tracks and we'll just add one guitar track. Now to get this ready to record we have to hit the record button in order to arm it. Then let's figure out which input we have. So we click on the input. First thing you want to do is jump down to audio I.O. setup. Now this isn't what it's going to look like right away for you. Um, it's probably going to be empty so let's just remove these real quick. Yes that's okay and this is probably what it's going to look like. Now these inputs are the eight inputs of the R24 and so if we add a mono channel that is going to be input one. So you want to make sure that your guitar is plugged into input one. Now this doesn't have to be a guitar you could also have this plugged in uh, like a vocal mic. Uh, you can plug in all eight, eight, uh, all eight inputs and you know do a drum set or something like that. So basically, that's one input. So this says input one. Now this is in the DAW, the digital audio workstation. This is input one. Now this right here is in the Zoom R24. That's the first input. So you can hit apply and hit OK. So now let's arm that. Oh, sorry. Let's click down, make sure we do input one. Now we can arm it. Now it's completely ready to go. I don't have a guitar hooked up right now, but if I hit record, now all this is doing is, is capturing the audio from input one. 
And that's basically how you do it. Now, like I said, the R24 is just an amazing audio interface. But you want to make sure that you have a computer that can handle it. So, that's pretty much it, and thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching my video, and if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that button right there. Also, check out some of these other videos. Also, you can find me on these popular social networking sites.